More than 19 million people in the United States struggle with depression, and according to the Mental Health uh, Mental Health America, Black Americans are overrepresented in that number. 11 Alive's Don White joins us in the studio right now with what one local Black woman is doing to help others struggling. Don. Ron and Jennifer, Mariba Lewis opened the Ellie Mental Health Decatur location on February 1st, and a new Sandy Springs facility opened its doors this week. She wants to reduce the stigma of getting help in the black community and to see more therapists of color in the field. Becoming a therapist is personal for Mariba Lewis. Clearly, I've been black all my life. <laughs> and so I can honestly say that growing up, I'm from Florida. I can't think of anyone who had a therapist. Her interest in mental health started traveling the world in the military and realizing the one thing everyone wants is to be happy. Since COVID, of course, now it's sometimes even sexy. Now some people say I have a therapist, but there still is a huge stigma related to that. Statistics show 18 percent of white Americans seek help for mental health, while less than 10 percent of black Americans do. Other cultures have seen their parents, their grandparents go to therapy, and it's not taboo. You know, in the black community, if you had had a therapist 20 years ago, they would have called you crazy. CDC statistics show suicide is the third leading cause of death for black men ages 15 to 24. Lewis believes representation of therapists and psychiatrists in the black community is crucial. We want to reach out to someone who looks like us. And so therefore, if someone in the black community starts to seek therapy and they can't find anyone that looks like them, then they may stop the process and they may never start it back up again. Lewis encourages others in the black community to consider a career in the mental health field. Mentorship and by that reach out. You know, if you're thinking about being a therapist, reach out. We as therapists also, we have to do something as well to let other brown and black people know that, hey, this is actually a real thing. The American Psychological Association reports 86% of psychologists are white, while only 4% are black. Lewis plans on opening another mental health facility in Midtown Atlanta this fall. All right, Don, thanks a lot. By the way, you can uh, follow this story and all of our Voices for Equality reporting right now. Just head over to 11alive.com voices.